Hi everyone. We're pretty much finished. Um, we've gotten some of the rocks where we want them. Uh, we went scavenger, bring, scavenging around in the um, woods next to uh, Highway 206. <laughs> Wisteria vine and um, found some really cool um, old wisteria vines and some bark put that around the rocks and all the plants are in we've had our first um, little frog sighting a green tree frog and we have some tadpoles swimming around in there which I assume came in with um, some of the, the plants that we got because they were in a big you know, some of them were in big containers, others were in, and they'll lay eggs everywhere. So, um, there's only a few, so there's been some birds sitting down in here that I've, I've when I've walked up, I've seen fly out. So, they might be eating them. <laughs> Hopefully not. I don't know if any of them will make it. It'll be pretty exciting if they do. They have plenty of things to hide around. Um, our little, um, our little frogger is under creeping jenny right now he's a tree frog but he's swimming in there um i know they don't swim a lot um as once they're adults so um yeah so last night we were out here finishing it and for the first time ever neither my husband or i got a mosquito bite the gnats are still about um but we shockingly were out here all evening and didn't get a mosquito bite so we've had a lot of um, damsels and um, dragonflies visiting um, lightning bugs like crazy in the evening so that's been kind of fun because when you light the pond you can see it they really glow with the with the pond light on so it's really cool you can really watch them um, fly around so yeah so um, instead of doing a long of each plant I'm not sure how interested people are in aquatic plants um, or how to do that but um, I thought, you know, I'll just, I'll just do a video, go around, and then I'll just give you a list of the plants we decided to put in. Uh, I'll also show you a few that kind of stand out for me of what we did around the pond. Cause not all of them are pond plants. Some of them are, are just shade plants or part shade plants. And we're gonna see how they do. Uh, but yeah, we're thrilled with it. It turned out, I think it turned out really nice. Um, it looks pretty natural at this stage. The edges of the pond will eventually be covered by, um, we put golden sweet flag, we have Irish moss, which tends to go over the sides and kind of grip a bit um, in the pot. So it should do that right here. So we put a lot of that around. We have a lot of ajuga, um, let's see, we have two ajuga types. So we're gonna put a third ajuga right in here, which I haven't gotten in yet. Um, that'll be a variegated kind. This is also a variegated kind, but it has a rosy glow. The other one's a little bit different. Um, as I've said in previous videos, I love ajuga. So um, I've been, I've had it for at least 20 years in my garden and I find it fabulous. It spreads around nicely. I find it well, it's well behaved in my garden. I know it can, all, every plant can become invasive unless it's thorough, if it's got the right conditions. So yeah, so this is, this is, um, I hope the light is okay. Um, just, just came through, it's kind of bright, I think on me right now. And it's, I think 95 degrees today, so it's really hot with um, over 60% humidity. So it's, it's a hot day. Um, but yeah, I hope you like it. And I'll, I'll go over, you know, what we did and, and why. And you can let me know how much you wanna know about bog plants. And I won't do that today, um, you know, except very briefly of, of you know which ones they usually on the tags will give you a level if you're a beginner um, otherwise you can look it up of, of how low they like to be in the water and then it's kind of experimentation if you want to try to get them you know higher a lot of them can live out of the water so um, yeah okay so we'll go over that and um, I'll show you a little bit close up Okay, so the rock we used is extra large river rock. And we picked out each each rock individually. We didn't get a bucket full. 
um, we went to our, our local landscapers. We work with them a lot and um, they just let us pick each rock and then they give us a price. Sometimes they weigh it, sometimes they just give us a price on the rock. Um, but uh, yeah, we so this is our largest boulder that we put in. And so you can see that they'll go everywhere from that size to that size when you start getting into extra large river rock. I wanted it to match the, the kitchen garden, which is right next door. Also, I just thought it looked the most natural around a pond uh, because, you know, it just, it just has that, that, you know, that river rock look. And, um, I love how rounded and honed it is and it just gives us a little bit of a difference from our usual Pennsylvania field stone that we use. I did the steps up for our grandchildren so they can get up there and kneel and um, look in and see what they can see, what's, what's about during the day. Um, I do have some video of a little green tree frog that was hopping around and then swam in, into the pond. I'll give you a run through. This is some in substance hosta. It gets really large and I expect that it's going to take that complete space over there. We have some rosy glow ajuga. This down here is miniature golden sweet flag. It's a slow grower, but it likes wet conditions. We have some Prince Tut in there, which will be annual here in our, our zone. We might be able to winter it over if um, we get the greenhouse up by winter. Not sure if we will. There's some corkscrew rush, which is just gives a really neat texture. And you can see they're fairly well raised um, out of the water. We have some Creeping Jenny, which it does appear is a favor for all the little critters to hide under. And she seems quite content in there in that water. Some water lily in there. We've chosen to keep all the plants potted and not um, to pot them in the actual baskets. Uh, to keep them under control because this is a small pond. It, we didn't want to, to have any one plant starting to take over. It's not going to be a big deal. We have a large net. Um, you can see my turtle ladder, which I'm doing a video on how to make one if you so choose because this is steep sided. And I'll do a I'll do a video and I'll I'll give instead of going through every single plant because this could get long if I do. There is a giant ajuga in the back, and that has more shiny leaves. We have fern and some hosta. Kind of found some that have some horsetail. some cool thinner leaves. Here's one that's definitely not a palm plant, but that's bachelor's button. But I thought it would be nice to have something that, that will bloom a bit over here. We'll see how it does. This is one of my favorite plants and that's Aurelia Sun King. And that will fill this entire space in here. This is Mountain Mint over here into the wildlife area where we're just, we will just leave that untended and wild. We have some goat's beard. We have milkweed. As you see, the bees just absolutely are loving it now that it's blooming. And last year we did have monarchs on it and we had uh, their caterpillars on it for quite a while. But as you see, they're just, mm -hmm. the pollinators are just loving this area. So we don't have much going. We're expecting that all of this will, 
all of this will um, begin filling in and blooming since milkweed usually spreads around and we have three different types of milkweed in here. They're, all, they're much bigger than they were last year. Bee is being very accommodating. We have a uh, black eyed Susan and Cardinal flower that are getting ready to bloom. They're all budded up. We have in here a lot of um, old stumps. We have stumps going all the way around this area for bugs to get under and into. And of course the wigwam, which I, I know I showed you all this in the kitchen garden tour. This is oxeye sunflower. Starting the bloom has a beautiful little bloom on it. This is red hot poker. There's a little bit more sun here. We're gonna see how it does. I'm hopeful that it will be able to bloom there. I'll be happy if it just does well. Variegated Solomon seal. And I put my little froggy over here. This is my other little froggy. Thought it was appropriate for the frog pond. And then these are the wonderful old wisteria vines we were able to find and i'll show you where we we um harvested them from just walked around hoping we didn't get poison ivy because we were not appropriately dressed don't do that i think we each got a tick on us um, but we were very careful to check our skin and get showered right away when we got in. So this is it. This is Star Creeper between the, the steps and once happy that spreads very quickly. It also gets really pretty blue flowers on it. Yeah, so this is the pond and it it will be really really nice once the the greenhouse will be there where the blue chairs are and the fire pit that will be the greenhouse so this will lead to the back of the greenhouse and then you'll you'll have all this more wild area for wildlife back here which will be really nice it's nice to have something back here because for a long time we just you know the back of your property you just kind of ignore it it takes a long time to get there it's the last place you do okay well thank you for joining me oh and i just wanted to say because i forgot to mention it any ladies out there who think that they have to wait for their husbands to do something like this, you don't. I'm 54 years old, I'm five foot three. of this I did myself. My husband helped me. Obviously that large boulder, I would not have moved that myself. That would have been too hard. Um, but actually could have if I rolled it. Um, I've done that with very large flagstones, um, but pretty much all the rest of them I could have gotten in myself. He helped me with the mulching and, and a few other things, but I did 90% of this on my own. He was at work. He would have helped. So yeah, so get out there and, and um, build a frog pond. Beautiful. Nice work. 
too rotten? Right. That's a good piece. Ray found this one. <laughs> nice piece. So we're in a little area behind uh, Egg Harbor City, New Jersey. that starts some of the areas of the Pine Barrens. This area has had a burn in the last couple of years. As you can see on the trees, see the scorching? So um, I don't know whether this was a controlled burn. It's gorgeous uh, But this is all new growth. Okay. I think we've seen what we can see. I think so. Good job, sweetie. Pretty cool, huh? Nice. Yep. <laughs> Green as anything. This is so lovely back here. It's worth stopping along your road and getting out. I do recommend having jeans on though, so you don't get poison ivy everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, we'll keep you updated if we're uh, itching ourselves to death in a couple of days yeah. with poison ivy. Oh, it's a shame it's rotted. It would have been such a nice one. Oh. Uh, would have been a nice Today's finds. We found a bunch of large river rock at a nursery that happened to be open on a holiday, which was nice. And then of course, we found all these dry vines. Okay, we're gonna spray them with a little bit of soap concoction. It's just soap, oil, and water, that's it. Um, to ch just to uh, kill off any like little ants or anything that we can, or at least flush them out before we put them into the garden. These are small rocks. We're not used to small rocks. The, oh, the look, a boulder still in our driveway. <laughs> Shocking. We will attempt to move it. We will attempt to move it. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. A hand truck. Ray doesn't believe in letting Mother Nature take care of the dirt. <laughs> Just something along the way. <laughs> Don't want dirty rocks going in and around the pond. <laughs> this is why when he's around, it takes... <laughs> it takes... Somebody Two else? hours longer to do everything. Needs a little washing <laughs> off. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is, is we get the next one in here somewhere. Okay. Okay. Like, like this one, the, the next biggest one. Yeah, let's try that first and see how what we think. There we go. Now we're talking. Can you get in there, though? Yeah. yeah? Okay, let me get a foothold here. Start off with my feet. Okay, I have a red one, three, one, two. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see what we got here. 